Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. This application is a one-stop solution for all the students who are preparing for government exams. This application is valid just for the Android users. Once you have downloaded the application, you can go and log in through your Gmail ID. And once you have logged in, you will be moved on to this page where you can see the various courses that are offered by us. To avail this course, you can use a code that is CRACK10 to get an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make. If we talk about the course, why this course is so important, how you will be benefiting through this course. If you see, we provide current affairs on the daily basis. On weekly basis as well as monthly basis on daily basis we will be providing you with pdfs of the content of that particular day apart from this you will be getting a quiz on your application that will be of 20 questions quiz on daily basis that will help you in boosting your preparation apart from that on weekly you will be getting a 50 questions quiz for your preparation as well as if you see you will also get a pdf that will contain all the important compiled news current affairs of that particular week and similarly for monthly you will be getting a top 100 questions pdf of that whole month that is very important pdf and will be covering the most important news of that particular month all right apart from this we also cover banking awareness all the banking aspirants those who are preparing for bank exams will absolutely love our course because we cover almost 99.99 percent of the syllabus of your bank exams here you will see we will also provide with quizzes as well as the pdfs o apart from this if you see the topic wise for example there are multiple questions that are related to arbitrary important days who won which event who was awarded with which award so all these topics that are related to your gs also or gk such as apps and web portals these are the current affairs that are important days your books and authors the new applications that were launched new government schemes that were launched by the government or your international affairs or your national affairs all these topics there are 20 such topics of which we are providing the pdf as well as we teach on youtube where you can go and check our channel and you will be surprised that the content that we are providing is absolutely amazing. All right. So this will be helping you to boost your preparation in the long term. This YouTube channel, you can go and subscribe to our channel. That is your affairs cloud that will help you for your revision purpose. Also, apart from this, we cover the state current affairs. Also here you can see the current affairs and all these content that we provide you that are bilingual that means we provide you in english as well as both in hindi also all right so all the students who are from the hindi language will also be benefited through our course also friends you can purchase our course for two years all right also for one year if the students have exam or they are planning for the long term and they want to study for two years and they are expecting to give exam after one year then they can opt for two years as well as if the student is planning to give exam next year then they can go for the one year course also so these are the two types of courses that are available by us in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677-333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. So friends, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs of 31st of May. The session will be very helpful and important to all of you. So do pay attention till the end. As well as friends, I'll suggest you all to make notes. Making notes is a very good habit and it will fetch you a very good habit in the long term. Before the exam, the one week before the exam is very crucial for all of you. And in that time, all you have to do is revise the notes. So that is the reason I'm focusing and then insisting all of you to make notes because it will help you a lot before one month or one week of the exam. Let's start. First, we are talking about North India's first biotech park that was inaugurated in Jammu and Kashmir's Kathua. I repeat, where is the India, North India's first biotech park located? It was in 
यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड दैट टू इन द कठुआ यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर वी नो इन स्टेट इट इज गवर्नर and in union territories it is lieutenant governor this is an additional information that you should know all right who is the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir union territory manoj sinha and jitendra singh who is the minister of state for science and technology and earth science inaugurated the north india's first biotech park that is biotechnology park at ghati in the kathua district of jammu and kashmir the biotech park will act as a hub for incubation of new ideas as well as similarly if i ask you tell me where was the first pure green hydrogen making plant set up it was set up in zorhat where is zorhat zorhat is in assam and it was set up by which organization it was set up by oil that is oil india limited set this up all right this biotech plant will carry out research on biodiversity medicinal and aromatic plants of jammu and kashmir and ladakh and would also promote the green category business the project will be implemented by csir triple i m that is your council of scientific and industrial research indian institute of integrative medicine of jammu and kashmir then remember where is the headquarter of csir the headquarter of this csir is in new delhi and the reason why this kathua district was chosen because of the richness with diversity as well as the geographical location of it all right next next we are talking about nctee that is your national council for teacher education recently ncta has launched a portal to streamline the process of recognition of teacher education programs or hcis and tei what is hcei and tei first of all you should know the full form of HEI stands for Higher Education Institute and TEI stands for Teacher Educational Institutes so remember recently it was your NCTE that is your National Council for Teacher Education that is a part of Ministry of Education has launched an online website to streamline the entire process of higher institutes a uh, higher education institutes and teacher education institutes recognition there teacher education programs for inviting applications for various courses to issue recognize to order which includes inspection of institutions also so coming back who has launched a portal to streamline the process of recognition of teacher education programs of hei and teis it is your ncte that is your national council for teacher education all right and this is an online portal or you can say it is online website a portal all right this has been launched with an uh, objective to streamline the entire process of recognition of teacher education program the portal would cover which commences from invitation of the application for courses till the stage of recognition order including the inspection of institutes also all right then remember itep ITEP stands for Integrated Teacher Education Program would be processed through this newly launched portal. Apart from this, if I ask you NEP, that is your National Education Policy. When was the first time that National Education Policy came? It came in nineteen sixty eight. Then second National Education Policy came in nineteen eighty six. Then this second Education National Education Policy was edited in the year nineteen ninety two. Then remember, then in now. it came national education policy of 2020 similarly what is ncf national curriculum framework that came in the year 2005 moving on one more thing if we talk about ncte that is your national council for teacher education this institute or this organization is specifically targeting the teachers and their teaching habits or their providing them course providing them with technical skills of teaching and providing various teaching education programs related to teachers coming back if we talk about ncte it was founded in the year 1995 and who is the current chairman professor dinesh prasad saklani is the current chairperson of ncte that is your national council for teacher education moving on ccam what is ccam ccam stands for center for cellular and molecular platforms i repeat same ccam stands for center for cellular and molecular platforms that is india's premier bio innovation hub has signed a mou 
that is memorandum of understanding with the center for food technological research institution that is cftri so i repeat ccamp has signed an mou with cftri to nurture deep science innovation in agriculture food technology and allied area so remember related to agriculture all the fields be it food technology be it innovation in the field of agriculture be it coming up with new technology to help the farmers these two organization that is center for molecular center for cellular and molecular platforms that has signed an mou with the center for food technological research institute and the reason being to nurture deep science innovation in agriculture food technology and allied areas all right this agreement will help identify and foster agriculture innovations and agriculture entrepreneurships towards sustainability and food security in india's agriculture sector one thing you should remember if there is research r and d that is research and development then technology will emerge if technology is emerging this will make entrepreneurs entrepreneurs if entrepreneurs are made these entrepreneurs will provide jobs these will provide employment to various individuals all right moving on which of the following is the focus country of the 17th mumbai international film festival it is your bangladesh all right the 17th edition of the mumbai international film festival for documentary short fiction and animal films is being held from 29th of may to 4th of june at films division complex in mumbai here bangladesh is the country of focus at the festival which will include documentaries short stories animal films from all around the world so the correct option here becomes bangladesh next question next news india's first rural tribal technical tech technical training program inaugurated in bhopal mp i repeat india's first rural tribal technical training program was inaugurated in bhopal madhya pradesh remember this important news all right question will be direct that where is the india's first rural tribal technical training program inaugurated it was inaugurated in bhopal madhya pradesh this is for skill development and this was launched on a pilot basis all right pilot basis means it is launched on a trial basis for skilling tribal youth that is india's first rural tribal technical training program at the center for research and industrial staff performance crisp bhopal madhya pradesh this is the location where this first rural tribal technical program is inaugurated in bhopal madhya pradesh all right you have to remember the location then remember this project aims to train around 250 beneficiaries for 17 clusters of 17 districts selected from the six states of india they are madhya pradesh chatisgarh gujarat rajasthan maharashtra and your odisha these are the states from which people uh, 250 beneficiaries will be selected amongst the 17 clusters of 17 districts from these six states and then they will be provided with various industrial skills and this is the first rural tribal technical training program we are talking about that has been launched in bhopal madhya pradesh moving on next news next we are talking about cotton council of india who is the chairman of this cotton council of india suresh bhai kotak so first question that you need to remember that who is the chairman of the cotton council of india he is suresh bhai kotak this committee will have representatives from several ministries such as textile agriculture commerce finance along with the representative from the cotton corporation of india and cotton research institute all right the announcement regarding this council was made during the meeting with the stakeholders from the cotton value chain held under the chairmanship of piyush goel who is the union minister of textiles apart from this remember why this cotton council of india is being made to promote the cotton sector or to promote the cotton industry around the world this cotton council of india has been set up and who is the current chairman of this council suresh bhai kotak is the current chairperson of this cotton council of india next next we are talking about world economic forum we just know that world economic forum was held at davos davos is in switzerland this was held between 22nd of may to 26th of may here you the important question from this particular news is that who was 
who was leading the team of India at the World Economic Forum. He is Shri Piyush Goyal and we just saw Piyush Goyal is the Union Minister of Textiles also. So during this uh, meeting, World Economic Forum meeting took place at Davos that is in Switzerland that was between 22nd of May to 26th of May and here Shri Piyush Goyal was the lead of India at the World Economic Forum. Apart from this, you need to remember the theme on which this meeting was held or this World Economic Forum was held. It was working together, restoring trust. And this was the 52nd annual World Economic Forum meeting that was held at Davos. With the theme that we just saw, theme is important and you need to remember of this theme. Working together, restoring trust is the theme. Originally, it was going to be held in January, but due to certain uncertainty and uh, outbreak of Omicron variant, it was postponed and it was now held in the month of May from 22nd to 26th of May. All right. Also, one more question you need to re remember regarding World Economic Forum is that WEF is building a global collaboration village. This is a virtual future of public private corporation and this is in collaboration with Accenture and your Microsoft. All right. Global collaboration village being developed by World Economic Forum with the help of Accenture and Microsoft. If we talk about WEF, who is the founder and executive chairman, Klaus Schwab is the current founder and executive chairman. Managing director is Sadia Zahidi. And where is the headquarter? It is in Geneva, Switzerland. Moving on. Next, LIC has unveiled a savings life insurance plan that is Bima Ratna. As you can see here is the banner. Bima Ratna is of which insurance company? Bima Ratna has been launched by Life Insurance Corporation. That is India's largest insurance. All right. Which is the India's largest insurance? It is LIC. And what they have launched? They have launched Bima Ratna. The new plan which is aimed at domestic market provides both protection as well as savings. If we talk about this Bhima Ratna, it can be purchased through corporate agents, insurance marketing firms, brokers and various other uh, applications that are on your mobiles also. The key feature of this plan includes death benefit, survival benefit, maturity benefit, all right, settlement option, grace period and various other facilities. The Bhima Ratna plan from LIC providers financial assistance to the policy holders family in the case of policy holders untimely death during the policy term. All right. So it was launched by Life Insurance Corporation and the name is Bhima Ratna. All right. Next, here you can see the various features. Next, in which state the prime minister recently inaugurated nano urea plant? Nano urea that is in urea in liquid format. This nano urea plant was set up by or inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India in which state? It was inaugurated in Gujarat. So many questions from Gujarat if you are making proper notes. First, steel slag rod. Global Center for Traditional Medicines. Where is steel slag rod? It is in Surat. Where is this Global Center for Traditional Medicines? It is in Jamnagar with the help of which organization it was set up with the help of WHO. Where is your gift city? It is also in Gujarat. All right. And here this nano urea liquid plant was also set up in Gujarat. Highly important. Next. US has surpassed China to become the India's biggest trading partner for the fiscal year 2022. Important question. Question will be direct that which country has surpassed China to become the India's largest trading partner? Which is the country? It is your China has become the world's largest, uh, India's largest trading partner for the fiscal year 2022. According to the data from the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, the bilateral trade between the US and India reached to a $119.42 billion in the year 21-22 up from the USD that was earlier 80.5 billion 5.1 billion dollar in 2020 to 2021 all right apart from this remember export see the difference here we are saying is one more thing you have to remember that now India is in a surplus trade with uh, US that means we are exporting more compared to importing that means if we look at the data 
export to the US was 76.11 billion dollar but if we are talking about import import was around 43.31 dollar so here you can clearly see that the india is exporting more as compared to importing from us all right so you have to remember which country is has surpassed china to become the largest trading partner or biggest trading partner for the fiscal year 2022 of india is your united states of america next here also you can see india's trade surplus with the us and it was of 32.8 billion dollar if you subtract them that roughly accounts to around 32.8 billion dollar in for the us for the fiscal year 21 22 all right the bilateral trade between india and the us is anticipated to grow in the future years according to trade experts from both the countries also this is an important line you should remember that india has recently joined the us led initiative to establish the indo pacific economic framework which will help strengthen the economic ties next next remember forbes has declared its 7th annual 30 under 30 asia's list for the year 2022 recently forbes magazine has released the 7th edition that is the 7th annual edition of the forbes 30 under 30 asia list of 2022 featuring 10 categories each honoring 30 individuals under the age of 30 this list was edited by rana Webe watson you need to remember who edited this rana Webe watson the honorees of the list represent 22 countries and the territories across the asia pacific region india tops the list in the terms of the number of entries with 61 followed by singapore 34 japan 33 australia 32 indonesia 30 and china 28 the average age of the list 22 of this list is 26.8 years and the youngest honoree on the list is a 14 year old japanese olympic skateboarding gold medalist mojmi nishia all right apart from this if we talk about this list this contain categories such as art and style food drink entertainment sports finance media marketing retail e-commerce technology industry healthcare sector and many others all right also remember the honorees and the entrepreneurs or the innovators who are featured on this list are working towards reconnecting asia following the disruption and isolation of the covid 19 pandemic moving on next next we are talking about filmmaker sanjeet Narvekar, who has conferred with the V Shantram Lifetime Achievement Award at the MIFF 2022. I repeat, we are talking about V Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award that was awarded to Sanjeet Narvekar. And during this, during what event this was award was awarded to him during the MIFF, that is your Mumbai International Film Festival. That was the 17th edition of this Mumbai International Film Festival during which noted filmmaker Sanjeet Narvekar was awarded with V Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award. Highly important. All right. He was awarded with this Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the films through the writing, especially film industry and the documentary film movement. All right. We are talking about Sanjeet Narvekar. He was awarded with V Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award. And during what? During the 17th edition of the MIFF, that is your Mumbai International Film Festival. Next, next question is INS Gomti, which was recently decommissioned after 34 years of service of two Indian Armed Forces was a dash. What is INS Gomti? What is this INS Gomti? Tell me. This INS Gomti has commissioned for 34 years and now it was decommissioned. What is this INS Gomti? It is a missile frigate. All right. That was decommissioned on 28th of May at Naval Dockyard that is in Mumbai. Also remember where was it decommissioned? It was decommissioned at Naval Dockyard in Mumbai. Next, RJ Umar has received the Immunization Champion Award by the UNICEF. Important question. Who received the Immunization Champion Award by the UNICEF? He is R.J. Umar. R.J. Umar is a radio jockey. Umar Nisar. Full name is Umar Nisar. And here R.J. stands for radio jockey. He is from South Kashmir. And he has been awarded the 01 Best Content Award and the Immunization Champion Award by UNICEF. Alright. Highly important. 
who was awarded with this immunization champion award rj umar or his full name you should remember that is umar nisar was awarded with this immunization champion award who awarded this award to him it was given to him by unicef that is your united nation international children's emergency fund and as well as he was awarded with 01 best content award he is from south kashmir you should remember this also moving on next next remember india's tokyo olympic bronze medalist lovelina borgen has been elected as the iba athlete committee chairman i repeat she has been uh, selected as the chairman and the voting member for iba athletes committee that is your international boxing associations athlete committee chairman and as well as voting member has been selected whom she is lovelina borgen as you can see her in the picture she is a Indian Tokyo Olympics bronze medalist she has been selected as the chairman as well as voting member on the board of directors for the International Boxing Association the term of office for the newly elected athlete will be until the end uh, until the world boxing championship in the year 2025 all right we are talking about lovelina borgen she has been appointed as chairman as well as voting member on the board of directors for the iba athlete committee and iba is your international boxing association next stashfin has launched live boundless a credit card a credit line card for women so stashlin uh, stashfin has launched a credit line card for women and it is a live boundless a credit line card for women stashfin that is a neo bank what is a neo bank neo bank has no physical building no physical buildings all right that means they are operating on technology itself online so stashfin that is a neo banking platform from akara capital advisors has launched live boundless that is a credit line card especially for women this is important that they have launched this credit line card specially for the women the new card offers cashback rewards welcome credits free atm withdrawals and several other deals that you are then women can achieve the other value added service include 1% cashback on every spend to benefit worth rupees 5000 in one year and a free credit period for selected customers moving on next question is a 16 feet tall bronze statue of dravidian legend and five time chief minister tamil nadu late m karunidhi was unveiled at this 16 feet tall bronze statue of karunanidhi who was the five time chief minister of tamil nadu was unveiled where where is this statue situated it is at dash location tell me it is in chennai all right vice president m venkaiya naidu unveiled this 16 feet tall bronze statue that is of dravidian legend and five time chief minister of tamil nadu late m karunanidhi and it was inaugurated in chennai next IMF that is your international monetary fund has increased the weight of US dollar and Chinese yuan in the SDR basket what is SDR basket first of all tell me SDR stands for special drawing rights so remember recently IMF that is your international monetary fund has increased the weight of US dollar and Chinese yuan in its review of the currencies that make up the valuation of its special drawing rights and international reserve asset This marks the first review since the yuan also known as renminbi joined the basket of the currencies in the year 2016. The weight of the US dollar increased to 43.38% from earlier 41.73% and the weight of the yuan that is also known as renminbi increased to 12.28% that was earlier 10.92%. The weight of euro decreased to 29.31% Japanese yen decreased to 7.959% and British pound also decreased to 7.44% but US and Chinese yuan the US dollar and Chinese yuan increased and whereas the euro British pound and Chinese Japanese yen their uh, SDR basket weight has been reduced all right this weighting was determined by the executive board based on the trade and financial market developments from 2017 to 2021 next 
नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियन ओरिजिन अकेडमिक डॉक्टर स्वाति धींगरा हैज अपॉइंटेड टू द एमपीसी ऑफ द बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड व्हाट इज एमपीसी एमपीसी स्टैंड्स फॉर मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी सो रिमेंबर इंडियन ओरिजिन एंड यूके बेस्ड डॉक्टर स्वाति धींगरा दैट इज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एट द लंडन स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द एक्सटर्नल मेंबर ऑफ द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी द इंटरेस्ट रेट सेटिंग कमिटी ऑफ द बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन ओरिजिन वूमेन टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द मेंबर ऑफ द बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड दैट इज द रीजन दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन ओरिजिन वूमेन टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द मेंबर ऑफ द बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट मार्केट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रशिया रशिया इज रिसेंटली टेस्टेड द जरकॉन हाइपरसोनिक क्रूज मिसाइल नेक्स्ट आई एन एस गोमती इज द ओल्डेस्ट वॉरियर ऑफ द वेस्टर्न फ्लीट दैट वॉज डी कमीशन आफ्टर थर्टी फोर ईयर्स एंड वी जस्ट सॉ वेयर वॉज दिस डी कमीशन कैन यू टेल मी डी कमीशन एट द मजगांव डॉग दैट इज इन मुंबई एंड वॉट वॉज इट वी जस्ट सॉ द क्वेश्चन इट वॉज अ मिसाइल फ्रिगेट मूविंग ऑन विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज रिलीज द ड्राफ्ट नेशनल डाटा गवर्नेंस फ्रेमवर्क टू इंप्रूव सर्विसेज इट इज Which ministry? It is the Ministry of Electronics and IT that has launched or released the draft National Data Governance Framework for mobilizing non-personal data of citizens for use by both public and private entities to improve the various services. Then, next is F1 Red Bull's Sergio Perez, as you can see in the picture, has won the. Monaco Grand Prix so who won the Monaco Grand Prix it was won by Sergio Perez and he drives for Red Bull Max Verstappen also drives for Red Bull Next next we are talking about former Albanian president Bujar Nishani has passed away recently so former Albanian president who passed away recently what is his name he is he was Bujar Nishani Next is on 29th of May we observe International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers Day I repeat when do we observe International Day of Peace or International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers Day it is observed on 29th of May and the last is very important news that you need to remember that recently Karnataka's chief minister Basavraj Bommai has launched a health and wellness application by the name Ayu question will be direct that ayu is related to which state it is related to karnataka and what is ayu ayu is basically an application that will be targeting health health and wellness of an individual so this is ayu that was launched by the chief minister of karnataka basavraj bomai ji this app ayu will address and help heal chronic diseases and lifestyle disorders through yoga and meditation meditation the app will provide users with personalized wellness solutions and offer doctors consultations based on the individual's personal history and monitor its progress enabling them to accurate healing and recovery this app would also provide users with customized wellness solutions and doctor consultations based on their specific histories as well as track their progresses this app is accessible in various languages that aims to reach and impact over 5 million chronic disease patients All right. If we talk about Karnataka, who is the Chief Minister Basavraj Bommai ji? Capital is Bangalore. All right. And who is the Governor Thwarchand Gehlot ji? So, friends, that was everything for today. Now, let's move to the one-liner current affairs and let's revise all the news of today in a quick format. North India's first biotech park was inaugurated in Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Highlights of the Hungary's visit of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Minister Peter Swiss visit to India Hungary became the new member of International Solar Alliance here you need to remember what is International Solar Alliance it is a joint venture between India and France that was set up in 2015 and where is the headquarter of it it is in Gurugram and Hungary became the new member of this ISA then NC TE that is your National Council for Teacher Education has launched a portal to streamline the process of recognition of teacher education programs of HEIs and TEIs CCAMP has signed an MOU with CFTRI to promote innovation in agriculture. India's first rural tribal technical program was inaugurated in Bhopal MP. Government of India has announced formation of Cotton Council of India and who will be the chairman Suresh Bhai Kotak will be the chairman of this Cotton Council of India. Then if we talk about World Economic Forum where was it held it was held in Davos Switzerland and from India who was the lead Piyush Goyal ji. LIC has launched a saving uh, insurance plan that is 
Bima Ratna. Bima Ratna was launched by whom? It was launched by LIC. US has become the largest trading partner of India for the fiscal year 2022 and it has surpassed China. Then 7th Forbes 30 under 30 Asia list was released and India tops with 61 entries. Filmmaker Sanjeet Narvekar was conferred with the V. Chantram Lifetime Achievement Award during the Mumbai International Film Festival 2022. Then RJ Umar, Radio Jockey Umar received the Immunization Champion Award by UNICEF. Indian boxer Lovlina Borgin was elected as the chairman as well as the voting member for the board of directors for the International Boxing Athletes Committee. Shatish, uh, Stashfin has launched Live Boundless, a credit card specifically targeting women. IMF International Monetary Fund increased the weight of US dollar and Chinese yuan in the SDR basket. Indian origin academic Dr. Swati Dhingra appointed as the MPC of the Bank of England and she became the first Indian woman to be appointed to the Bank of England. Russia successfully tested their zirconic hyper, uh, Zircon hypersonic missile. INS Gomti has recently decommissioned at, by the Indian Navy at the Mumbai. Monaco F1 Grand Prix has been won by the Red Bull's driver Sergio Perez. Albania says former president Buzar Nishani has died at the age of 55. World Wave Day on 30th of May. On 29th of May, International Day of Union Nations Peacekeepers and Karnataka's Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai has launched a new health and wellness application by the name Ayu. So friends, that's all for the day. Now let's move to the homework part. First question, the Ministry of Ayu's recently signed an MOU with the Department of Biotechnology for cooperation on biotechnology interventions in the Ayush sector. Who is the current Union Minister of Ayush? Second question, who recently won the International Booker Prize for Translated Fiction for the first Hindi novel Tomb of Sand and became the first Indian to win the prize? Third question, the Coal of India Limited decided to de-invest dash stake in the Bharat Cooking Coal Limited and subsequent listing on stock exchanges. Fourth question, identify the Indian Navy warship of the Talwar class that was used to test the Indian Navy's surface-to-air system, surface-to-air missile system in the May 2022. Fifth question, dash became the Indian first Indian state to create health accounts with the help of World Health organization very important question all right so friends these are some five questions to all that are your homework and i want all of you to comment these below so friends that's the end of our session i hope you have gained some interesting information today and this information will be very helpful for you in the upcoming exams so do like the video subscribe and also share the link of this video with your friends and if you want us to continue with such sessions, all you have to do is comment below. The value of your comment is very much. Thank you. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.